I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna come up with a good scare, but uh, that'd be kind of embarrassing. Anyway, hey, what's happening, guys? Happy Halloween from the Bobby Point neighborhood here in the city's York Borough. Uh, <laughs> just got off the 35 route here at Jane Street and Bobby Point Road, although this street becomes a net as well. This is a very affluent part of town with very nice old homes. And uh, I thought since tonight is Halloween, I thought we would check out this, uh, I thought we would explore this neighborhood and take a look at the, some of the, uh, the Halloween decorations. It didn't take me long to get here at all. All I had to take was the 32 and then the 35. And when I love my place, yes, there were a lot of trick-or-treaters. Trick but uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Halloween. The last day of October 2023, and it's around 7.20 p.m. And it's cold. It's like 3 degrees Celsius, and it's going to go down to the negative zone overnight as we head into November. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm filming with the iPhone 13 and not my usual camera, which is the Panasonic Lumix DMC-Z60, is because, first of all, the phone is much more stabilized than, uh, than um, the digital camera. And second, the lighting isn't that great, even though I've already filmed like, many walking videos on that. But uh, the phone is gonna have to do for uh, for now at least. Maybe if I maybe if I want to uh, change it change it back to the camera, I probably will. But that means I gotta do some editing. There are lots of uh, interesting neighborhoods uh, that have the uh, that have uh, um, beautiful homes all decked out, like you know Cabbage Town, Rosedale. But I chose Bobby Point because this neighborhood, like. This neighborhood like like stands out and especially if it's not far from uh not far from where I came at all so let's see how long uh this will last so we are now walking west on Bobby Point Road and I think I'm gonna walk the entirety of it it's been a while since I've uh, been to this neighborhood it was like last year it was also like before Halloween during the fall foliage, I came here. And I hear music coming up. Hopefully that's not... It's best. Oh, look. <laughs> yep, it's somebody's watching me. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted by that. Because it's going to be a big mess. What a way to start this video. And, uh... Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll... Uh, share with you guys a little bit of my Halloween stories. But I want to avoid this music here. I'm just so nervous of getting a copyright, but blame YouTube and their stupid rules. Look at that. Line up. Oh, look. Michael Myers. I always, I've always found Halloween to be uh, very interesting, not just because of the, uh, the, the, the vibes it brings, but you know, you get, you get to dress up like as any character. Like for me, I, I dressed up as Thomas the Tank Engine back in like 2009, as well as the Minions. And I can't remember whatever costume, but I always enjoyed Halloween, especially going around trick or treating, especially like in Forest Hill. I, I did that a lot and I also, uh, Went to my cousin's place in Newcastle when I was very young. They had just moved in at the time. Actually, we did. I did that twice. So, uh... gosh, I have a feeling this is not really uh, the lighting I've, I'd expect. Look at this, guys. Let's cross back over here. Of course, every. All the drivers are slowing down because there's so many people here. Oh, 
Oh man, it's cold. Yeah, so for now, we're just gonna film with the phone here. Wait, there's a, there's a skeleton. Oh wow, that is scary. By the way, yes, I can pretty much get like startled very easily. Like jumps, like jump scares. Oh my god. Like I'm all, I, like my heart always beats when you know you're walking like in a very dark, dark area. You don't know what the hell's gonna come at you, right? But also, I know some houses may have like, like actual like, like sound effects or ambience that might. Uh, I mean, it's all it's all part of it, right? But. Hopefully I don't get jump scared. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get spooked at tonight. I'm sure many of these kids are. And no, I'm not really wearing a Halloween costume. I mean, all I'm wearing is just all in black, wearing a Batman shirt. But I can't show you guys that because, as I just mentioned, I gotta stay warm. So this here, so this neighborhood is located in the west end of the York Borough. The Humber River is straight ahead, and of course, on the other side of that is Etobicoke. Let's go along here for a second. Look at that, some jack-o'-lanterns. You guys can't really see much. Oh, I can just increase the lighting here. Yeah, I think this is better. But yeah. Growing up, I always went. Uh, I always went trick or treating. Not every single year, but like most years. But I think the best times I went trick or treating was uh, again when I went to uh, visit Emily in Newcastle. And that's when we were very young, and we just went around uh, the town. Right, <laughs> it was very fun. And also when I was in elementary school. We had Halloween parties. We did our own trick or treating. We went in our costumes. Okay, so this is Baby Bobby Point Crescent. Let me just let's just this is gonna loop around back here. So we'll just uh, we'll just loop around. I will, I was only gonna make this video tonight, but maybe what I'll do after this is uh, maybe I'll. Head down to Bloor, take the subway like one stop, and then make a walk up Runnymede Road like at night. And maybe this time with the with the camera, the digital camera, because uh, the seventy one is back at Mount Dennis, rightfully. I just felt like a retake's a retake. Lots of kids out, obviously. Yeah, I just increased the lighting. Hopefully that's better. I think with the digital camera settings, it's a bit complicated. <sighs> Again, very nice homes. It's a nice, nice wooden door here. And I'm thinking of uh, getting this video up by uh, Thursday. Maybe. Like, I don't know. I had school today. It was I had heck getting home, of course. It, look, it literally like, took me like one hour, 50 minutes. Because I had just finished a class. I just wanted to... Oh, look at that. There's a group of people here. What's all this for? This is the Bobby Point Club. Hey, look, that's an old historic house. What is that even for? I don't know. You know what? I think up ahead, the street's kind of dead. I was gonna do this walk around like the entirety of this, this street, but uh, I think we're gonna veer off here. 
One more. Maybe they turn this into a haunted house. See a red light in there. Yeah, I know that trick. This is Fleur Place. Now what? Okay, this is still uh, this is still Bobby Point. I don't know where the heck I'm going here. I'm just gonna go wherever I feel like going. And I can't check to see where I'm at because I'm I'm holding the phone. Oh wow, this is huge. Can't see that, but let's say inflatable cat. Oh wow. Yeah, almost every house is participating. But you know, when you see a house like this with no lights on, then obviously nobody's taking part in it, or maybe nobody's home. But it makes it even scarier, right? I know Castle Loma is doing something. I know it's a haunted house. Wow. Yeah, the reason why I just came here and I'll continue on the other side because there's like more activity here. It looks like they were dressed up as Super Mario characters. Oh, look, I've seen one of these inflatable T-Rexes before. Oh, great, now we hear more music. Wow, this place is happening. It's full of energy here. I'm glad I came here. Oh, man. I gotta get my gloves out. Like, very soon. It's gonna be a cold start to November. That's empty. I wonder if there's any raccoons around here as well. Highly doubt it, but I mean, it's it's dark already. You expect to see some. Maybe going through. Maybe looking for some candy. Look at that nice gate here. Ugh, is that the Grim Reaper? I don't think so. Oh great, look. A roundabout here. Yeah, because originally I was going to loop back to Jane. But maybe I'll just end up somewhere by the Humber River and I'll just walk back off camera. And maybe grab some pictures. We had a full moon a couple of days ago. But uh, mostly today it was just cloudy and... I don't even know what direction we're facing now. I think this is looking west because that's in Etobicoke. Where the heck am I going? I am probably looping back. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're heading north now because the river is on that side. Oh. And by the way, first time this year I'm wearing the toque. So I got the, got our wonderful flag on it. Let's go on the other side. Yeah, 
Yeah, we are definitely heading north. Well, they got spooked. They definitely got spooked there. Y'all on YouTube. Lestrange. Lestrange. Look, someone's at a, someone's, someone's a panda. Oh, now they're playing Hall and Oates. This is my spirit shirt. <laughs> oh, wow, that thing is tall. It's towering over me. It's looking at me, too. You know, during my long ass walk all the way to Scarborough, I did see some cool decorations. Oh, this is nice. Okay. This is gonna be the best so far. Look. Everything is all lit up. You know what that you know what these two remind me of? They remind me of Deadpool. You know the you know the franchise? Yeah, I'm getting another thumbnail here. <sighs> yeah, so it looks like we are going back the way we came from. Well, I'm not going to film all the way. I'll just think of, uh... I'll just think of, uh... Where I'm going to go next, but it's going to be, like, near the vicinity. Of course, I can always walk back to Jane, catch the 35, and go either way. But I think I have my sights on going down to the subway and then just going one stop. Wow, that's a nice house this guy has. And I think we are going downhill. Maybe by midnight when all the streets are finally quiet. Maybe the trash pandas will come out. You got a witch. There's your broom. Okay, so we're continuing to go downhill. Oh, don't tell me this road ends. Again, it's dark, so I can't really tell. I believe we're still on Bobby. Look, look. Scary forest. The scary forest. It's a ghost in there. Okay, never mind. We're continuing. All right, so this is still Bobby Point Road. Did you guys catch that? Just turn itself on. And it's pretty much bringing me back to uh, where I started. Not started, but bringing me back. You know, not much activity on this part. Not a lot of Halloween decorations. But still, I mean, this part of town really just stands out. So I think now we're heading east.
So I guess we're just looping back. Yeah, they're just saying their hands are just cold. And that includes mine. Yeah, and up ahead it looks kind of uh well it's kind of quiet up there. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'll just think of what I'm just gonna think of what to do next. There's like there's like little activity here, even though there's like people walk there's like kids walk in, but there probably won't be uh, much for a few more houses. So yeah, maybe I'll just make a second video, like heading back to Jane Street. How about we do that? And maybe I'll use the the digital camera this time. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, this spooky video, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. Happy Halloween. Uh, stay safe. Don't get spooked. I'm glad I didn't. We went off here with this, this typical ghost balloon here. Anyway, take care. And adios. Bye-bye.